Good evening, everyone. It's Friday evening here. I'm at St. Mary Magdalene Church, and it's a kind of a cold and rainy night out tonight. This Sunday, we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter. That's right. We are still celebrating the joy of Easter, the joy of the resurrection. And we still have two more weekends of Easter to celebrate. And following the seventh Sunday of Easter, we have Pentecost, where we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming down upon the apostles and upon Mary. It's a the birthday of the church. And then following Pentecost, we, we have Holy Trinity, where we meditate on the great mystery of our faith, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, three persons. And then following Holy Trinity, we celebrate Corpus Christi, where we focus on the Eucharist, the real presence of Christ, the source and summit of our faith. Well, this Sunday, we read from the Gospel of John, and this gospel is a very comforting gospel, especially for those who are suffering. It's very often used at funeral masses. Allow me to read this gospel to you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his work. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. So my friends, you can see why this passage from John, this Gospel passage from John, is so popular at funerals, because it begins with those very comforting words, do not let your hearts be troubled. But in this same passage, it also gives us the call to faith. Faith in Jesus Christ when Thomas asks the way, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so, my friends, it gives us great comfort in the promise of the resurrection, but it also calls us to faith, to strengthen our faith in Jesus Christ. This weekend, our deacons will be preaching on the readings. Deacon Victor will preach at St. John the Evangelist at the 8.30 Mass, and Deacon George will preach here at St. Mary Magdalene Church at the 10 o'clock Mass. And you will be able to view the Masses live on our respective Facebook pages. We will also be giving a special blessing in honor of Mother's Day, of course. And here at St. Mary Magdalene Church, the staff will lead the rosary prior to the Mass, which you can also view on Facebook. And tomorrow from 12 to 3, there will be a drive-by drop-off food drive and drive-by blessing here at St. Mary Magdalene Church parking lot. So please stop by if you have some food to drop off, receive a blessing, and we'll have bulletins avail avail available for you. Excuse me. Until then, look forward to the Mass on Sunday. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Take care.